I, I yeah. did four years of trials riding um, with mom's with Ken, and um, and then did a year and a bit motocross. Um, and, and all through this period, unfortunately, it was a pretty hostile relationship with, with him and my mum. So uh, um, just as I started road racing, at, in, I did 1995 junior road racing. That was my first road racing year. And um, I, I won the British Championship my first year, which was amazing. Loved it. So got Steve Brogan in there, um, James Ellison, um, uh, John Woodcock. There, there was a few good, there, good little lads. Quite name super, drops here. teens. Yeah. That, that was, was that June. That, no, that was the one before in '95. That was that was the Junior Road Racing Association. Uh, who else was it? Mark Heckles. Uh, the, the, oh, that was, that was '96. That was Super Teens. But so '95 was Junior. Won that. Then Super Teens was in '96. On a Kajiva 125 and um, Carl Harris and um, Jesus. bless him. Um, uh, Heckles in the, that, that was uh, my Kajiva teammate, Mick Walker. So, um, and then 90, 96 was uh, unfortunately my mum left uh, Ken for the final time because it was uh, it was it was serious. It was really serious, uh, and yeah, and unfortunately uh, he decided to take his own life. Yeah, bloody hell! And you were fi- you were fifteen at this point. Mm-hmm. Jesus, wow! And at that point, were you were you doing the racing with Ken or Ken? Yeah, so junior road racing with him, and then. Half a year was super teens, uh, really, um, and then uh, then that happened, and then, but luckily, I mean, I mean, this is how life goes, doesn't it? I mean, it was in the local paper a little bit what had happened um, uh, in in the village, um, and I was out motocrossing because uh, this is a, a mining village where I'm from, uh, so the mine shut, so literally I'd got like two square miles of grass land to rise around on a KX hundred, mm. uh, silver linings, loved it, so I rise around there and. Uh, um, a rider called Mick Corrigan was uh, living in the village. I didn't even know he was in the village at the time. And he was on the field at the same time, rising around. I, I chased him around and, and um, showed him a wheel or two. I uh, didn't realise it was the current British Supersport runner-up um, uh, in British Supersport at that year. Um, uh, and he stopped in the field and uh, asked who I was and blah, blah, blah. Uh, he said, what, what do you race? I said, well, um, I've had to stop because of this situation. And... Um, he then found my number and he rang up. He said, um, do you want to ride a CB500? Um, and uh, there's a new championship starting in 97. If you've got, if your mum's got 15 grand, I'll put you in my team and I'm doing super sport. Um, uh, Cause he was, he went from Yamaha to Honda um, and he was going to do the 600s and I was going to do the CB500. And um, I convinced my mum to, to, to find 15 grand. God knows how she did that. Like when I look back, oh my God, I was getting lapped on a Kajiva. I got lapped by Carl, Carl Harris at Brands in 96 in Super Teens. Lapped. And I convinced my mum to give me 15 grand in 96. How to, long did it take you to persuade her? That wouldn't have been a five minute conversation. Mum, mum, mum. Do mom, you know mom. what? I, 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 I pitched it. I pitched it. That <laughs> I just see you PowerPoint. This <laughs> is a guaranteed investment, mum. Like, you know, this is, this is like, um, I don't know. I'm trying. I'm trying to. I'm, this is like this is like Bill Gates trying to sell Microsoft to. You know what I mean? She must have had a hell of a belief in your front no, to to put a, to but, go for it like that. Um, I, I, I think. I, I mean, bless her. Um, I, I think what she saw was with what had just gone on. Um, I was so so passionate, and I was, uh, I, 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 and all my life I did. I, I didn't want to race. I needed to race. And it was because of these personal things going on. I needed, there was a, there's always been a difference with me and there's always a difference between multiple champions. You'd need to do it, not want to do it. If I ever see any kids that tell me I want to do that or I want to do this, well, well, if you need to do it, I'll take you. I'll support you. Yeah. Um, and that is the difference with it. And, and she saw that. And, uh, did you, but, yeah. did you find the race and back, back then was a kind of a, an escape from what was Completely. going on in your life? Completely. Oh, it was. Mm-hmm. The, the, the toughest thing that I've had to deal with since retiring from racing 10 years ago is letting all that go. Jesus, wham. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, not riding. I, I miss, I, 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 you know, I miss racing till I die. But that's not been the toughest thing personally for me to 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 deal with. It's um, it's 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 not having that to cope with what 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 the rest of it is. That's what mm. I was talking about before. Yeah, <clears throat> no, I was just talking about. Um, I've said it before about you can you can always join the dots of backwards, but you you never know where like the paths your life's going to take. Yeah, but like looking back, that you give it, putting the wheel up. Is it Mick Corrigan? Yeah, yeah, you putting a few wheels things. Without that, you probably wouldn't have become world champion. I mean, and it's like such a. I mean, sm- Mick like- Corrigan living in the same village, just on the same field, on his motocross bike. 
he was i mean he was one of the top boys uh, and, and mick corrigan was one of the fastest uh, um, production riders um and he ran a, a great team and he gave me he gave me a chance on a cb500 a brand new championship nobody had heard it and nobody even knew what cb500 was it was a, it was a courier's bike mm -hmm. you know and I, I won every single race except for one <clears throat> And and then <laughs> I could hear the grit in his voice when he said, "Bar one." I was, yeah. Damn it. I, get, Bar I, got, one. I, got, I got taken out at the last race. Um, <laughs> Who by? God, God, you can remember. You can remember. I can't. You can't. I can't. You can't. I, can't. I let that one go. Didn't I? Yeah. That's the only thing I've let go in my life. <laughs> all the rock and roll. The only all that. It's, it's it's amazing, you know, that that championship's just gone from strength to strength. Even now, if you do you know, if, I don't know if you've been to a Thundersport round recently. No. There's there's two, two grids. full grids of CB 500s. I, don't, I, I can understand. It was the some of the most fun races. You got I, I it's the big. It's like the biggest championship at Thundersport in terms of numbers. Loved there's uh, there's two grids of like what forty riders. And I mean, a, a few years ago, you could get like the championship winning bike for a grand, but with COVID tax, I think they're up to about three grand now. <laughs> oh, it's through the roof now. I loved it. I'll tell, Honestly, loved I'll it. tell you what, right? The one guy who knocked you off has been waiting for his moment on this podcast. And you're going, I can't remember his name. He's like, he'll be saddling up the truck. He'll be back in just ju jump in as well because I've been promising him for a while that I will come a shout out. But uh, congratulations to Grant Whitaker, who won the CV500 championship this year. Wicked. His, uh, Fair play to him. Yeah. God, what's that now? It's like um, 15 years ago, isn't it? Or no, twenty five years ago, sorry. Um, you know, when obviously when and Has Haslam did the C B five hundred, didn't he? Yes, he did. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. more recently, Ryan Vickers came through on the C B five hundred. Did he? Did mm. he? Uh, just so much fun. I mean, when when there's when there's the similar amount of grip to horsepower, it's a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. As soon as you get too much horsepower, it's hassle because you have to work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>